Carla Rainier, and I have worked at this for a number of years. One of our goals was to engage students with primary source materials that surprised them and made them think about things in new ways. I think the exciting thing about that is that we have a really unusually rich collection for a school of our size, and especially within the state system. Um, we're strong in Pennsylvania German history. We have a lot of materials published in Pennsylvania before 1850. That was a collecting focus for many years. I think for the students it's always a surprise to see what we do have here. We have a lot of resources not only with the university history where we have the very earliest documents with the board minutes as well as the literary society minutes and uh, early publications that really gives them an insight into what was happening here in the 1800s. But then we also have a huge manuscript collection. And uh, it's always interesting for the students to be looking at these old letters and uh, diaries and ledgers and try just trying to read the, the handwriting. A growing area for us is um, our oral history collection. We have uh, students have been involved in collecting oral histories for the past seven years in different classes. The fact that the, the staff in Archives and Special Collections have really honed in on what are the skills that we need to teach students before they go out and do these interviews, I think that is a, a really valuable resource because we don't often get a chance to cover that in, in our basic skills classes. So we, you know, we always have students who are interested in doing that, whether it's interviewing their, their relatives about the Vietnam War or asking their mothers what it was like to be part of the, the Equal Rights Movement. But they have to know how to do it effectively. And that's something that Archives and Special Collections can help them learn how to do and help them get the equipment that they need to do it well. And I think it's given the, the students uh, a great experience in simply meeting people that may have a little different perspective on life than what they have. And uh, so I think it's, it's been a really great thing um, for the university as well as the community. And um, I think in the long run, it will be a good thing for the archives in that people will be able to look back now at people's perspectives from the 20th century. The fact that there's an archives here, the fact that it is available for students and others on campus, the fact that it is so well staffed and so well organized and so well run, um, it just, I don't know, it just makes me feel good because these things are so important. The staff in Archives and Special Collections have been so tremendously helpful. I mean, they're, they are available as often as they possibly can be to my students. They make my students feel welcome. Um, and and it's, it's really nice to know that if I want to put together some kind of different assignment, you know, they're willing to bend over backwards to help me figure out a way to make it work. And, and that's just not always the case. So it's, it's a really very valuable resource.